Fiscal responsibility, collaborating with our community partners, and engaging with our residents is the vision behind Precinct 1. Commissioner A.C. Cuellar and his staff are dedicated, committed, and are working each day towards creating a better Precinct 1 community. Commissioner Cuellar knows the key to improving the quality of life for residents starts with the fundamentals. When he took office, he made it a priority to replace old, unreliable equipment with fresh new machines and hardware. Using this equipment to fix our roads is a top priority. The Road and Bridge Department is one of the largest in the precinct. They are responsible for maintaining 621 miles of county roads. Each and every day, several crews hit the streets to fix the potholes plaguing roads and neighborhoods. The frequent rains can damage the ground and wreck tires, creating headaches for drivers. These Precinct 1 crews work diligently to clean out the ground, pour the hot mix, and tap in recycled asphalt. They work hard to keep the potholes out of the roads and the money in your pocket. Along with maintaining roads, crews continue to work to expand and reconstruct streets, providing residents with a smoother commute. A mile 12 and a half and FM 88, the Road and Bridge Department is overlaying the street with milling. The material was provided by TxDOT and work is being performed in-house saving taxpayer dollars. A mile 5 and a half west, Caliche donated by TxDOT is being used to give residents in the area a smoother ride through Monte Alto. More crews are using recycled material on mile two and a half east and mile eight north to even out the ground, giving buses easier access to nearby schools. Partnering with school districts and neighboring cities has helped Precinct 1 expand and reconstruct several roads surrounding our schools. In 2014, Precinct 1 joined forces with the City of Wesco and Wesco ISD on the Sugarcane Road Drainage Improvement Project. The groundbreaking on July 1st kicked off the construction. Four months later, the project was complete and area residents were finally able to enjoy their long-awaited new roadway. The next joint project with the City of Wesico is now underway. On April 1st, a groundbreaking was held for Border Avenue and Waterline Improvement Project. The expansion and reconstruction will cover about one mile stretch of road along Border Avenue from 18th Street to Mile 5 North. From applying milling to regrading caliche or patching up potholes, Commissioner Cuellar and the Road and Bridge Department are committed to improving your daily commute. In November 2012, Adal County voters put their trust in us and approved an $84 million drainage bond referendum to fund 25 projects in the county. Of those 25, 8 were located in Precinct 1. At this time, 75% of those projects will be completed by the end of the year. At the Puesta del Sol subdivision off of Mile 12, new drainage ducts were installed across the neighborhood. The project cost more than $145,000 and is 75% complete. Currently, crews are working to finish these improvements. Working together to improve our Precinct 1 community starts at home. Putting debris, garbage, and tires in the trash and out of our drains is the first step. Our illegal dumping crews work day in and day out to pick up the garbage piling up on our roadways before it clogs our drains or canals. Along with garbage, we also have to worry about discarded brush. Our crews are constantly monitoring the road searching for dumped brush. Crews use heavy cranes to break apart the branches and trees so they can haul it out and clear our streets. It's important to remember that keeping debris out of our roads and drains will help avoid flooding in case of heavy rains. We must all work together to keep our neighborhoods clean. To avoid damaging our drainage systems, Commissioner Cuellar encourages all residents to take advantage of the five citizen collection stations all across Precinct 1. The Monte Alto Collection Station allows residents to dispose of their trash, tires, and brush. Being a responsible citizen ensures we all have a cleaner Precinct 1 community. Commissioner Cuellar knows not all residents can get to a collection station, so he implemented frequent neighborhood cleanups. Every few weeks, crews arrive at a neighborhood and collect trash and unwanted brush. 
residents are encouraged to leave their old furniture, toys, or boxes on the curb for pickup. Machines are used to wipe away dirt and grass from the right-of-way, providing residents with a smoother drive. Workers also help residents by trimming overhanging trees in order to clear the way for cars and school buses. By working together, Precinct 1 and its citizens can ensure their neighborhood and their county stay safe and clean. Commissioner Cuellar and his staff are dedicated to providing a better quality of life for the residents of Precinct 1. One way is by bringing families together. Located in the north part of the county, Delta Lake provides plenty of leisure activities. Each weekend, families enjoy the countless playgrounds, picnics, and barbecue grills. The surrounding lake is the perfect spot for fishing and bird watching. The park is open seven days a week from 7.30 a.m. until sunset. Keeping your family safe is a top priority. The addition of the Sheriff's Office East Substation in Wessico has helped reduce response time and prevent crime in the area. The fully functional freestanding facility allows deputies to serve as area residents more effectively and efficiently. Commissioner Cuellar is committed to expanding services for residents in the Delta area. Crews are currently renovating the old Precinct 5 offices into a future tax office and Precinct 1 Justice of the Peace office. Instead of driving to Westlaco, residents will be able to save time and money by taking care of their business closer to home. Since taking office, Commissioner Cuellar has been dedicated to our county veterans. At the Precinct 1 offices, he has a veteran service office where area vets can apply for services and get information on benefits. Providing assistance to our veterans and their families is just one way we honor their service to our country. Lending a hand and helping our neighbors is just one of the many missions of Precinct 1. This past Christmas, Commissioner Cuellar and his staff took part in the annual Head Start Toy Drive. For many of these children, this may be the only gift they receive during the holidays. Working together, the commissioner and his staff adopted all 14 centers within Precinct 1, buying more than 1,000 toys for all the children. Commissioner Cuellar and his staff ensured each Head Start child from Precinct 1 had a very Merry Christmas. More growth is on the horizon for the communities of Precinct 1. We continue to build new roads, construct better drainage, improve parks, and offer residents more community resources and programs. By managing your tax dollars wisely, collaborating with community partners, and engaging with residents, Commissioner A.C. Cuellar and his staff will continue to work towards a better Precinct 1 community.